Let's talk about what's happening out there in the Atlantic. We have a very powerful and dangerous storm that we are tracking closely. Hurricane Humberto has grown incredibly strong very very quickly. It has now officially become a Category 5 hurricane. This is the highest and most dangerous category on the Saffir-Simpson scale. A Category 5 storm has sustained winds of at least 157 miles per hour. As of the latest advisory, Humberto is churning with winds of 160 miles per hour or greater. This kind of power can cause catastrophic damage, a storm to take very seriously, even from a distance. Hurricane Humberto is churning in the open waters of the Atlantic Ocean. The good news for now is that its core is not directly threatening any landmass. However, its immense size is generating huge waves and dangerous rip currents. Even far offshore, it's a major factor in weather patterns across the basin. It's like a giant engine influencing smaller developing systems trying to organize, we are watching its every move. Humberto's rapid intensification far exceeded the benchmark of 35 miles per hour in a day. Extremely warm ocean waters are acting as fuel, and low wind shear allows the storm to grow vertically. These are the perfect ingredients for a top-tier hurricane. Even without landfall, swells and rip currents will affect beaches from Florida to New England. Boaters and beachgoers should use extreme caution. This hurricane season has been one for the record books. We're seeing truly historic activity. Humberto intensifying into a major hurricane, that is category 3 or higher, is part of a very rare trend. For the first time since 1935, the first three Atlantic hurricanes were all major. Aaron, Gabriel, Humberto, each reached major status. Powerful storms formed far out at sea, yet the U.S. has been fortunate. As of this weekend, we've made it to September 27th without a single hurricane landfall, first time in a decade. That's good news but it shouldn't lead to complacency. It only takes one storm to make it a bad season for a community. Multiple early majors reflect exceptionally warm oceans, providing high-octane fuel like gasoline on a fire. When a tropical wave crosses these waters it has the energy to rapidly organize. Scientists are studying broader climate patterns behind this activity. The season's story is still being written, and the next chapter could bring impacts much closer to home. Now let's shift closer to the United States because a new system is brewing. The National Hurricane Center has designated it Tropical Depression 9. A tropical depression has a defined circulation with sustained winds near 35 miles per hour. It's about 120 miles south-southwest of the central Bahamas, moving northwest around 6 miles per hour. Signs point to strengthening. The warm waters here are ample fuel. Once sustained winds reach 39 miles per hour, it will be named Tropical Storm Imelda. Its projected path takes it toward the southeastern United States. The potential for heavy rain and coastal flooding is real. Strong winds can down trees and power lines. It could become a hurricane by early next week. Current thinking, Category 1, possibly Category 2. A major hurricane is not expected at this time. The main threats are threefold. Wind. Heavy rain, especially if the storm slows, can produce dangerous flash flooding, and storm surge, often the deadliest threat in coastal landfalls. Officials aren't waiting. A tropical storm watch is in effect for parts of Florida's east coast. A watch means tropical storm conditions are possible within about 48 hours. Start reviewing your plan, ready your supplies, and pay close attention as weather could deteriorate within two days. Impacts are likely even if the center stays offshore. Outer bands can extend hundreds of miles. This is not the time to be on the water. Further up the coast, South Carolina is taking this threat seriously. Governor Henry McMaster has declared a state of emergency. It speeds resource mobilization and coordination, and sets the stage to request federal assistance if needed. The forecast brings the center near the South Carolina coast by Monday afternoon or Tuesday, leaving little time to prepare. A fascinating phenomenon could shape the track, the Fujiwara effect. When two cyclones are within roughly 900 miles they can influence each other, rare near the US, a similar setup occurred in 2016 with Matthew and Nicole. Now we have powerful Humberto offshore and developing Imelda closer to the coast. Sometimes the larger storm dominates, absorbing or deflecting the smaller one. Humberto could tug Imelda east and away from land, the best case. Or the interaction could push it west or stall it, worst case for rainfall and flooding. This is why forecasters are cautious with Imelda's track. Multiple large-scale features are competing to steer the storm including the East Coast jet stream. A trough could pick up Imelda and steer it north, but timing and strength are critical. If it misses, the storm may meander and feel more of Humberto's pull. Another issue, the storm's structure. 
until it consolidates, models struggle to lock on the center, garbage in, garbage out. We may not have high confidence in the exact track until Friday or Saturday, yet potential impacts could begin as soon as Monday. Prepare now, while there's still time. The most important thing you can do is have a plan where you'll go and how you'll communicate. Choose an out-of-state contact for check-ins. Build your kit, food and water for at least three to five days, ideally a week, plus a radio, batteries, lights, first aid, medications, and cash. Bring in anything that could become a projectile. Check storm shutters or know how to board windows. Review insurance coverage for wind and flood. Everyone from Florida to the Carolinas should use this weekend to get ready. Know your evacuation zone, plan for pets, and avoid last-minute crowds. Rely on official sources, the National Hurricane Center, your local NWS office, and trusted local news. Be wary of sensational posts. Stick to the experts. Bottom line, Humberto is a Cat 5 offshore and future Imelda could impact the southeast soon. Stay informed and be ready. We have a very active and complex situation in the Atlantic. It's part of a historic season, and the U.S. calm may be ending. Tropical Depression Nine near the Bahamas is expected to become Tropical Storm Imelda soon, possibly a hurricane next week. The southeast coast is on alert. The Fujiwara effect and jet stream add uncertainty. Don't wait for perfect clarity. Watches are up in Florida, and South Carolina has declared a state of emergency. Use this weekend to prepare. Check your kit, secure your home, and review your plan. We'll keep you updated with the National Hurricane Center and local officials. Your safety is the top priority.